Hey Rotis, welcome back. So the weather is getting hotter and for some celebs when they don't have what to do with themselves, I guess it's time to throw jabs. And we're talking about no other person but ex-couples about to get a divorce, Simon Gobadier and RHOA Pasha Williams as they publicly throw jabs at each other on social media. Before we get right into it, hey kings and queens, welcome back. Please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell to not miss another video. Thank you. So, apparently, Portia Williams claps back at Simon Gobadia after he shades her on social media. But first, what did Simon say? So, Simon had shared a post where Shamir Martin received her new Rolls Royce. And in his post, he said, Congratulations, my good sis, at Shamir Martin. I'm so happy for you. My brother Jared has excellent taste in fine automobile. Look forward to watching the only cast member with a RR. And he put... <laughs> And then he put a laughing emoji, like obviously he's throwing jabs at Portia Williams, you know, the the Rolls Royce he bought her and, you know, Simon is messy, y'all. He is messy, messy. Y'all recall in 2022 that Simon gifted Portia Williams a Rolls Royce. Yes. So now I'm sure you pretty much get the gist. So he's, he can't wait to watch her. On the incoming season 16 of the real housewife of atlanta because according to him she is the only housewife with a rose royce but anyway Portia was not feeling it she decided to clap back from the look of it Portia williams got some time on her hands she stopped by the internet with a clap back to simon after he was trying to be funny with her and then she said in her post Simon, don't forget, an adept-free husband who is a U.S. citizen. My bestie is winning. Welcome to ROHOA Queen Mumbai. You guys, how messy can this two be? Like their divorce is getting crazier and messy by the day, but y'all can tell that the two of them were a perfect fit for each other. And of course, Portia wanted to prove a point that she still got her Rolls Royce. I'm not sure if it's the same Rolls Royce that Simon got her, and I'm also not sure if Simon had it in his name or hers, but she went live showing her Rolls Royce that she still have it packed in her home, and that also looks like her marital home with with Simon. She went live and shared by Live Bites where she was in her Rolls Royce having a good time. Portia girl, she is so messy. But well, the pressure is getting worse. As Simon took to his Instagram to try to get public sympathy on him with the ongoing litigation, he posted what about Simon's homeless kid? Like really Simon? Homeless? Well, in his caption he said, I would like to publicly thank the mothers of my three minor children who have stepped up to provide cover for our minor children. We are into the third month of litigation without proper visitation. These women have played their part as co-parents and are now asked to do more. With the added burden of caring for my children when they are supposed to be in my care, my children are growing and maturing every day and unfortunately do not have the benefit of my presence. Similarly, everyone wants to focus on everything but what's important in a family especially when it comes to children and co-parenting i have had joint physical custody of my kid for five years those boys are in my home two weeks out of the month i also have visitation rights to my daughter who is 11 years old and lives in california and last minute had to be diverted to dubai for spring break she was ultimately out of home for three weeks during spring break all three kids currently displaced i would like each and every one of you especially those with kids pray for me and my family they deserve consideration as well hmm, you guys y'all notice simon carefully picking his world minor children displays how is simon going to say his kids are displaced it's like insult to children in war zone right now you having your daughter diverted to dubai for her spring break holiday and you consider that displays oh spare me the details but then again social users took to his comment and they were asking him a lot of questions like this user who said simon sold his home and Pasha gave her home 
home to her mother, Simon and Portia purchased this home together right before they got married. That house is as much as has as it's his. No one has been misplaced. Why you all keep saying that? Of course, Simon replied saying, sold two multi-million dollar properties and used the proceeds as down payment and you believe a marriage that lasted 453 days entitles the other party to equity in the home? Let that happen to your family member, not me. Obviously, from what Simon is saying, and I think it's clear because I don't want to believe y'all think Portia really puts down money into that home. Simon sold his home to get a property. She's only entitled to the home as it concerns their prenup and being in a marriage with Simon. Another user said, correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't you sign that agreement when you two got married? If so, that was your choice to, to sign on the dotted line in case of divorce. You weren't thinking of your children then. That should have never been an option. And Simon replied saying prenups are contractual agreements subject to several elements of consideration, including fairness in order for them to be enforceable. The courts would eventually make the determination of its enforceability of fairness amongst other things. Well, I feel like Simon is not completely taking accountability to the fact that he got played or he didn't do the right thing considering his children then because he was seemingly in love. But well, that was his explanation to that. Well, the battle between these two continues to unfold and it looks like Pasha Williams' job with Bravo TV is under fire. It's on the line as the ongoing battle for the marital home and where she's supposed to film is all not making sense. And so Portia Williams is desperate for the court to allow her to film the real housewife of Atlanta inside her marital residence. She went on to file an emergency order permitting her to do just that. In documents obtained by Radio Online, Portia Williams said having the ability to film her day-to-day -day life including inside a mansion is vital to her ability to sustain her income and employment. As earlier reported by Radar Online, Portia was awarded possession and sole exclusive use of their marital residence last month, telling her she would be free to use the marital residence as she pleases, including for filming and production purposes. But Simon's legal team came back demanding the court stay silent on the issue of taping in the house, causing issue for ROHOA production. So in her new emergency order that she filed, Portia stated that given Simon aggressively litigious behavior of dragging the reality show and truly original production into the legal mess, they have advised her they will not proceed with filming, which directly impacts and impairs her ability to make a successful return to the real housewives of Atlanta. Honestly, you guys, I don't know why Portia won't just leave that man's home alone. Like if you don't want him, you might as well just leave his home and girl, move on. At least you have your own home and we do know that a home which her mom now owns or rather is in her mom's name is not befitting for the real housewife of a lot of production she's supposed to have that luxury lavish lifestyle which she cannot probably get in her own home but fighting the way she is i don't know what to think about that but what are your thoughts you guys on all of those simon also took to his instagram to share more details about the benefit of being an american citizen he went on you guys about the right to vote ability to travel freely with a u.s passport access to government benefit programs such as social security and medicare eligibility for setting jobs that requires u.s citizenship such as government positions reserved for u.s citizen but then he went on to say in my case as a green card holder the only limitation i have is the privilege of voting in u.s election and relying on government benefit neither one hinders my presence in the united states i have dedicated my life to striving for financial independence and providing for my family and community so a user left him a comment saying so why keep applying for citizenship he said because i wanted to vote and i can reapply as many times as i want there is no bar to reapplying simon again in his ways left a post that says in dubai i get more dates by being from nigeria than u.s shocking perspective and a user left him a comment that said why are you claiming the u.s anyways you're not from here and simon replied probably because i have lived there for 42 years schooled worked employed paid taxes five born american kids employed and fed american families to this day need any more reason ouch that one looks like simon ate right there <laughs> he definitely ate with that response well you know simon's gonna be posting regardless of what he has going on 
also in more stories are shared by the neighborhood talk shout out to the neighborhood talk simon says he will be producing receipts of partial conduct throughout their marriage i'm extremely good at finding receipts he says in the story he said the case of justice are about fairness in court cases there are two sides to every story and each side of a case or a story must be heard each side gets the chance to present evidence or the details about the case in his caption he said buckle up your seat belt folks this matter would take time to fully unravel <laughs> not simon feeling like a blogger now hey uncle simon you want to take our jobs from us <laughs> not him unraveling you know details and spilling tears well he said there will be no conclusion until we have our day in court and all evidentiary matter presented at trial for example the depositions will be taken from witnesses and legal arguments will be made one thing i'm proud and extremely good at is finding receipts and letting it tell the story only this time a court gets to pass judgment receipts do matter in court and a jury of our pairs we have an opportunity to deliberate on the evidence particularly as it pertains to the conduct of each party in the course of the marriage time would tell and patience is my strong suit stay tuned hashtag evidence matters hashtag in the matter of 453 days of marriage hashtag jury trial prep oh my god simon is so messy he is messy you guys but what are your thoughts on all of the jabs throwing posture's emergency file order and all of posture and simon shenanigans you guys leave your thoughts in the comment section like i have a headache dealing with this too but what are your thoughts you guys on this too and their whole litigation the drama the dragging on social media and everything you guys share your thoughts in the comment section you know i love to hear your opinion and as always thank you so much for watching if you got to this point of the video do not forget to like share subscribe and turn on the post notification bell to not miss another video and until the next one remember to pray work out work smart and slay bye bye